Welcome back to the Sunflower State Game Showcase, everybody. Each year, thousands of athletes return to Topeka to compete in their favorite sports. But one of the ways the event continues to grow is by adding sports that are gaining popularity. And to that end, this year, the Sunflower State Games added men's fast pitch softball, CrossFit, kids triathlon, and wicketball. If you're like me and you're asking, what in the world is wicketball? Who better to explain it than the commissioner of wicketball? And the man who invented the sport, Bob Zoller. Bob, thanks for being with us today. So, how in the world did you come up with the idea for wicket ball? You know, I'd actually just found some old wickets beyond my barn that uh, my father in law had thrown some old wickets. They looked like big croquet wickets. I stuck them in the ground when my kids were little, and they just started kicking balls through. We started making rules and started having tournaments, and we just had a blast with all ages, pretty much. So give me the nuts and bolts of how this game is played. So how it works, it's like soccer croquet. If you could think of big wickets, okay. we use a number five soccer ball. People have their own ball. They try to go through the wicket in the lowest number of kicks. So it's really soccer skills, croquet strategy in a golf course layout. I'm not good at any of those. <laughs> um, what, what is it about wicket ball that, that makes it so fun, such a, such a vast appeal? Well, it's, it appeal, appeals to all ages. You play from five to in your 80s. My, my father's in his 80s, and he plays and loves it. You can get outdoors. It gets you out. It's moderate exercise. And a lot of times, people aren't getting outdoors now. So it's just fun. It's, it's harder than it looks, too. So. Unfortunately, I'm going to find that out firsthand. Bob, we have never done this in the history of the Sunflower State Game Showcase, but we're going to play together. Take it easy on me. Okay. And, and we're going to have a little fun and show people how this works. Right. So I'll let you kick off okay. first, however that works. I'm going to set down my microphone here. All right. We're going to start right from here. Show me the... the guy. That's pretty good. Here goes nothing. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we can work with that. All right, Bob, so how would you assess your first kick? Well, it's not that good. I needed to be in front. Okay, so what will you try to do now? Well, I will try to put it in front and block you and make yours more difficult. So there's strategy like that also? Absolutely. Okay. That's pretty good. All right, so Bob, what do I try to do now? Well, you've got two options now. You can try to just force your way through there, and you'll win the wicket. You'll get the point. Okay. But I'm blocking you, so it's going to be a little more difficult. Or you can sit up behind me. I'll get through, you'll get through, and we'll both we'll get tied. Yeah. Now, if what happens if I hit your ball and it goes through? Wherever. Oh, I will get the point. On the number of kicks that you've taken to this point. Yes. So we would. Well, I would win it because that would be your second. You kind of took over the advantage here. <laughs> on you. All right. Here goes nothing. That wasn't good. That helped me. <laughs> okay, so this is an easy shot for me. So I'm going to kick it. I'm through. I get the point. Now you have a very tight angle, but you got to try it. Put some spin. got to try it. Yeah, I don't have Do that. Do something. I don't have that in my arsenal. <laughs> I've just got to try to find a way to get it through. Oh, good try. Yeah. Well, Bob, I suppose it's probably only appropriate that you would beat me at the game you invented. But this is, you know what? This is a lot of fun. It, it was exciting to, to learn about it and learn how it works. So if we were playing a standard match, we played the first wicket, you would get a point. Yes. And then explain where we go from there. And we would start here again. We'd go to wicket number two. Whoever wins that one, or if you tie, you get a point. You play through eight wickets. Whoever's ahead at the end of that wins the match. And each wicket is worth one point. Yes. And if we both get through in the same amount of kicks, which we didn't here, we would both get a point. Correct. Okay, that's it. The nuts and bolts of wicket ball. You could even play it in your own backyard. Absolutely. Bob Zoller, thanks hey. so much for the time. You got a good thing going here. You bet. Thanks okay. for having me. Thanks.